Hello and welcome to episode 86 of Vokta Gaming. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain, and we are here with game two in this best of three series between our two players at MLG. First up, we have our Blue Zerg. He is FXO Linock. And spawning in the south location, it is the Red Terran. It is the Emperor himself. It is Slayer's Boxer. And that intro is over and done with. We are about to get ourselves into a brilliant game. I am certain of it. What we have here is two absolutely fantastic players. We have FXO Linux, who is currently 1-0 up in this series. And we have the Emperor himself, Slayer's Boxo, one of the single greatest players around right now. And Slayer's Boxo is just this kind of guy you can never ever count him out and it looks like he is going to be doing some pressuring again we saw last game how well the two racks bunker pressure worked on the expansion the natural expansion here of Lenoch that will be about to go down because we're at 14 drones and 400 minerals there we go perfect timing there from Lenoch we saw how well that worked and it works brilliantly on Zonaga Caverns because you have this path you can come down this path and this path and this is a big wide open area as you can see there and I don't think he is going to scout this coming at all we have the drone going by the normal pathways although if he stops that Zelnaga watchtower oh he will see it I'm certain of that in fact he knows about it now which should be enough time to get some kind of defense up or to at least cancel this hatchery but the way I'd like to see him do this is to just pull drones and kill this SCV because he has only sent one out so this is not a full pressure right now we have the one marine coming up now but the fact is he can stop this from going down at all if he's clever if he does this absolutely right we have a spawning pool about to finish we have zerglings who will spawn very very shortly afterwards but that SCV does die and this bunker pressure is over and done with so now all he has to do is run the drones away because this hatchery is not going to go down he's going to have zerglings out in more than enough time Slayer's Boxer needs to take that barracks home in fact he's already rallying marines back here so there we go that is over and done with Lenok very well prepared for that knew exactly what he was doing I don't think that was the best placement of the bunker because it of course allows the Zonaga Watchtower to see it um, so what I'd like to have seen that be further out of the way so that that didn't happen. But there we go. Boxer trying something and it not working. So he's going heavy barracks at home. Building a second command center. He's going to expand behind this and try and match the economy of FXO Lenoch. Um, but that is going to be very, very tough to do. Of course, he hasn't lost too much because you get to cancel that bunker. He didn't lose any marines. So all he's lost is some slight time on the barracks there. And of course... He was unable to put any real pressure onto Lenok. So Lenok is going to get the advantage from having this very early hatchery up. Now it'll be interesting to see what way Lenok goes with this. We saw yesterday he followed up with uh, the Baneling Nest and just busted down the front door of Boxer. The question is, will he do the same again? This Overlord is going to die. No, it escapes. How much longer for? Still alive, that's so so handy. Uh, anytime a Terran player can take down an enemy's overlords, he is going to do it because it is just so painful. It's so annoying as a Zerg player, it really eats into your build. Uh, so we have the Zergling speed upgrade and a Baneling Nest is on the way as predicted because I am a genius. We have a Baneling Nest on the way, so I'm pretty sure that is going to be for more than just defense, although. Uh, he knows Boxer is probably going heavy bio. We have the two racks here. We have another racks up here. Uh, and a factory now being added. So he's going to take up towards Medivax, I imagine. This Overlord now dies hideously. But we have Zerglings running up, scouting the front of that base. Seeing the supply depots up and going home again. 
That Overlord does stymie him for just a second. All going to get caught by these Marines and losing quite a few Zerglings. Of course, Zerglings easily replaceable, but when you're going for Baneling Bus, you want as many of them as you can get, so you don't really want to lose them uh, without at least taking something back from the Terran player. No linking of the bases here yet. Um, I'd have liked to have seen that happen. He knows that Boxer is going to follow this up with something different, and drop play is definitely a way Boxer could come back into this. So I'd have liked to have seen him link this up so that he could get units, uh, the Queens and such like, back and forth between the bases a bit faster. But still, Lenok obviously uh, knows better than I do because he is an absolutely fantastic player. Obviously, a GSL Codes finalist, leaving those Marines alone. Those Marines backs against the wall, so they cannot get a decent surround. And now a ton of Bailings are morphing! Oh, yes! 19 Bailings there. 19 Bailings on the way. The command center has landed here, and all he has to defend right now is a few Marines and a bunker. And that's not going to be enough, as all these Marines are going to die. Zergling's coming in as well. Taking out all these Marines. The supply depot does go up, but it is not going to last. All the STVs now trying to escape down the secret hallway there. Sorry, the John's Common Knowledge hallway, as it was once known. More bailings morphing now so that he can bust in the front here. And this could be all she wrote right now for Slayer's Boxer. Siege mode is on the way. If he can get siege mode and a tank or two out, he may just survive this. But I don't know if he's got time because all these bailings finish now. And they just burst on the barracks. One barracks goes down along with the supply depot. And all these marines are going to die. SCVs being pulled. Boxer right now so far behind. Losing workers left, right and centre. 10, 14, 16, 19 workers. 24 workers down now. Oh, and that tells it all. Sorry, Slayer's Boxer, but GG goes up. And Lenok moves straight past the Emperor and towards the MLG Finals. Oh, wow. Boxer just tried to do the same strategy as he did in the first game. It didn't work, and Lenok's follow-up was just incredible. Really nicely timed, really nicely controlled, and there was just no way back from that point on for Slayer's Boxer. Um, so sad. Sad to see the Emperor lose so quickly in the second game after such an epic first game. But never mind. Um, today is Thursday. I'll be back tomorrow with some more MLG games. Possibly a Protoss sprinkled in now as we've had plenty of Terran vs Zerg. Thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to check out scforum.eu. And of course, like the videos, subscribe to the channel, send me lovely, lovely emails at voctagaming at gmail.com tell me how amazing my voice is uh, of course you can also tell me you know what you think's wrong with the channel many people have done that and it's helped me improve thanks for that but you are that's just enough of me talking for today i've had enough i want to go play star wars the old republic because i just preloaded it and it's going to open up in half an hour when they finish maintenance thanks very much for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow